Another thing that I've really wanted to talk about because a lot of people were tagging me in it and going like that, oh, they came after you so much for Nazi Pug, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, okay, I'm definitely going to do a lot of bitching about that in this, but there's another very, very important thing that I want to point out. This is something that a lot of you have already noticed, but again, save it for the end. Man who raped 13-year-old girl in Park walks free from court. Sean Hogg, 21, was given a community payback order after raping the teenage girl in 2018. A man who was found guilty of raping a 13-year-old girl in a park in Midlothian has walked free from court. Sean Hogg, 21, was given a community payback order as a direct alternative to a jail sentence at the High Court in Glasgow on Monday. Court papers state that Hogg carried out assaults at Dalkeith Country Park on various occasions between March and June 2018. So it seems to have been like various times uh, to the same girl. Uh, Hogg of Hamilton, South Lanarkshire, threatened the victim and pulled down her lower clothing before seizing her by the wrists and causing the girl to carry out a sex act on him. Apparently, oh, there it is. I. He, went, he went on to push his victim's head down and done that. Uh, Hogg was found guilty by a jury and appeared in the dock in tears at the High Court in Glasgow. Judge Lord Lakes told Hogg he didn't intend to send him to prison as he did not believe this would contribute to his rehabilitation. He said rape is one of the most serious crimes and that is why it is tried at the High Court. And yes, yeah, I would definitely say that rape is definitely one of the most serious crimes out there. Uh, looking at these circumstances, her age and vulnerabilities are aggravating factors. For the level of seriousness, I have to consider your liability and have regard to your age as a factor. This offence, if committed by an adult over 25, you attract a sentence of four or five years. Now, that part's important, over 25, right? Because it turns out that there is some new new legislation that's came out in Scotland, some that I was not aware of. Uh, I don't consider that appropriate and don't intend to send you to prison. You are a first offender with no previous history of prison. You are 21 and were 17 at the time. Prison does not lead me to believe this will contribute to your rehabilitation. Hogg was ordered to do 270 hours of unpaid work. So 270 hours of community service was his sentence. He was also put under supervision and the sex offenders register for three years. Doug Donald Finlay Casey defending told the sentencing that an appeal is planned. So the cheeky, the cheeky Cheeky bastard, even after, you know, this is like, this is the equivalent of Better Call Saul when he got his, when he got his uh, seven and a half year deal. I know that man, like, you're appealing that, you cheeky, cheeky bastard. Right, and then that's the end, that's the end of the article. Right, so 270 hours for raping a, th for forcibly, by force raping a 13 year old girl, and you've the cheek to fucking appeal that, you fucking wide cheeky bastard. However, however. Right, there's a few things I want to talk about. Right, first I'll get the the selfish main character bullshit out of the way. Uh, yeah, the courts came after me so much harder, so much harder for uh, offending people with a joke video. Right, halfway during my trial, like the maximum sentence that I could have got uh, under Section One Two Seven of the Communications Act was one year in prison, and that is what the prosecution were aiming for. They wanted to give me the full year. They wanted to give me the full year in prison. Uh, and then halfway through the trial, uh, the prosecution actually tried to up my charge to something that was raci racially aggravated something or other, I forget the exact term, where the maximum sentence would have been five years. And that's what, that's what the prosecution wanted to give me. They wanted to give me five years in prison over the Nazi pug video. So for basically hurting someone's feelings for a few minutes, they felt that that was worthy of a five-year sentence. Right. However, literally forcibly raping several times a 13-year-old girl, 270 hours of community service. Now, this part here, if committed by an adult over 25. Now, that's an interesting thing that's happened in Scotland, something I wasn't aware of, where crimes that you commit under the age of 25 are now treated with kid gloves, where basically... The courts will actively do their best not to send you to prison because under 25, you're not considered a, you know, fully mentally developed adult, which is a new thing that's came in, which is why you can literally rape a child <laughs> and only get 270 hours of community service and then try and appeal it, the cheeky bastard, right? So everyone's kicking off about this, obviously, because like like, like the judge said, rape is one of the most serious... I, I just feel... 
if you rape anyone, like, by force, you're literally holding a person down and raping them. Sorry, jail. I don't care. Jail. Jail. Prison. Prison. Immediately. Gen pop. Right? You should go away immediately. However, because the guy was under 25 and they don't want to damage his future prospects, after all, he was just, he was but a boy like that when he done it. No, he was 17. I mean, I'm sorry. Like, yeah, 17, you have to know that rape's bad. Yeah, you, you know that, yeah. That's bad. You shouldn't do that. I mean, if you've not learned that by 17, then, Jesus Christ, I don't know what to tell you. Right, so if you're under 25, uh, you can get away with that stuff. And we've already had it before, where people have been caught with terabytes and terabytes of fucking CP on their laptop and everything, and they face no jail time. And this is a trend that I am noticing. Now we arrive at the part, basically, that I'm, to finish off that segment, basically... The, Basically, for offending people, the courts and the police came after me ten times harder than this guy. And this guy, I never got to lodge any of my appeals. They'll probably have a look at this guy's appeal. He'll be able to successfully lodge his appeal. Right? So, why is that? Why the, he why the hell is that a thing? And this is the thing, we've talked about it before, a bunch of you have noticed it, and I want as many people to notice it as possible. There is a lot of things... Uh, <clears throat> Lots of very concerning things uh, regarding uh, sexual activity in children, right? You're getting schools that are asking like 12 and 13 year olds in surveys, do you like anal and stuff like that? You know, just weird, weird shit that you just should not, not be asking a child, like at all, right? And this is the schools, that was the schools and the Scottish government that were putting out surveys like that. Right, and then there's other things as well when it comes to uh, LGBT stuff and trans stuff is, oh yeah, yeah, like uh, 10 and 11 year olds can totally decide their gender and can consent to uh, having, you know, double mastectomies and stuff like that. Right, That's and that's a weird thing, right? So basically we're seeing a pattern of people in possession of CP getting away with it, no jail time. We're seeing people literally forcibly raping children and getting no jail time. And then you're getting a lot of stuff in regards to, oh yeah, these medical procedures and other things. Oh yeah, children can totally consent to that. I wonder what else children will be able to consent to. This is, this is the pattern I'm noticing. This is a path that I can see is going down. And I want as many people as, many people as possible out there to be looking for it. What's, it. what's it called? It's called the something effect. Where after someone points it out, you start noticing it everywhere. I, wa I want all of you to have that mindset. I want all of you to have that mindset. Pedos are getting away with very, very light sentences. Uh... Grooming gangs and sex with children are not getting investigated, and people are even literally raping children and getting away with it. Like, only on the sex offenders register for three years, uh, only 270 hours of community service. I think, basically, we all, we all see the path. We all see the path that this is going down, right? And I think, ultimately, all this shit that's happening, all the culture war bullshit, all of that stuff, I think that this is the ultimate end goal for it to be permissible. For this type of stuff to be permissible. For it to become socially acceptable. You're getting stuff like the Prostasia Foundation and all that stuff that are like, yeah, it's totally, it's totally fine for you to for you to be able to, you know, it's actually healthy for children to shove that right up your ass. Just bundle it, bundle that up and just whoosh, shove that right up your ass. I don't care. I, I, I don't care. No. Well, studies, studies say, fuck your study. How about that? Fuck your study. You can shove that up your ass as well. Right, this this is the path that I see it going down. I think, I think this entire thing is an op to make this stuff uh, not just legal but also eventually publicly acceptable. This is just a thing that we should be allowed to do. I think that's just been the ultimate end goal since day one. I think it has been. All of the other stuff's just a great big giant op so that this stuff manages to slip by and get passed. They say, oh, if basically, if they increase the bar for what children can consent to, they will finally increase the bar to the point to the thing that they want it to be allowed for children to consent to, which is sexual activity with adults. Maybe, maybe I've just got a tinfoil hat on. Maybe I've just got a tinfoil hat on. But I've been noticing a lot of patterns recently. And I've been definitely noticing a pattern with this type of stuff. You know, it's like that saying goes, it's not rocket science, people. They're just evil and want to diddle kids. 